And I think the point that I was trying to say was Jesus hadn't memorized it, the disciples hadn't memorized it. That much we can agree on, isn't it? And then the first generation after they hadn't memorized it. So it was it's not a tradition amongst Christians to memorize the book. And neither amongst certain, the Jews. Certain certain because like I say, there's not No, there's not a single disciple. There may not because there's some people do things in like have a sacred, have a like a, a, a tradition on, of family that, that they keep it in their household. You know? Let me give you an example. So you find the the prophets close uh, companion was Abu Bakr, yeah? That after him was Umar, yeah? They had memorized the Quran, they had memorized sayings of the Prophet. The Prophet himself had memorized it. Uthman, he'd memorized it and he would, he would recite it regularly. Ali had not only memorized it, but he would recite it. So after the Prophet, I've told you in succession, the people that have come, all have not only memorized it, but they had memorized his sayings as well. To such a degree. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what you are saying. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like that saying, you know, still, still needs, you know, proof. I will give you proof, Lancelot. I will give you proof. But you're still here, yeah? Okay, let me just finish with Victor. No, no, because... I'm, I'm going to be here. I'm not leaving. Oh, you're not leaving? No, I was just. This guy here who I know with the dark glasses on. Okay. I thought you were just going to stand there and start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you're here as well, yeah. yeah? So I'm just saying, just like how you're saying that you can't really find, we still yeah. need proof yeah. of both of these things. Okay, what do you require proof for? You said mem memorization, to remember. Like, right. Understand, so you still need proof on both ends that, that the, the, the original saying have been remembered to this time. Okay. You understand? All right. We have something called a chain of transmission. Yeah? So chain of transmission is a way that we have preserved sayings of the Prophet and we have preserved the Quran. Yeah? Now me standing here, I'm going to give you an example of a chain of transmission right here, right now. I'm going to link it directly to the Prophet. Yeah? That's a big claim I'm making. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, is a saying that's been attributed to him that which is ironic because the Prophet said, if somebody wrongly attributes something to me, then he has, in effect, reserved a place in the hellfire for himself. Yeah? So this is a saying. Now, I have read this in a book by Muhammad ibn Shaybani. Yeah, Muhammad al Shaybani. He got it from his teacher, Imam Abu Hanifa. Yeah? So, so, so Imam Abu Hanifa. He got it from Al Atiya Al Atiya Al Aufi. Al Atiya Al Aufi got it from Abu Sa'id Al Khudri, رضي الله عنه. And Abu Sa'id Al Khudri got it from Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Peace be upon him. What I've now done is I've given you standing here an entire chain. I can tell you every single person in this chain, which I've done so, we know their names, we know their tribes. So we, we know hadith from Sanad, Matan and Tariq. Yeah, so the chain from the text itself and from the date of the narration itself as well. Yeah, so we can critique that nobody can come and attribute something to the Prophet that was said to him without an academic saying this is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, so this is just one chain that I've given. There are chains that are even smaller than this, even smaller. There's one where the Prophet is saying, you will be with whom you love on the Day of Judgment. Yeah, with the Gospel Companion who said, you know, I love you and I love Allah. And the Prophet says to the nearest effect, you will be with whom you love. Yeah, we get that from Imam Malik. Imam Malik gets it from Nafi. Nafi gets it from Abdullah bin Umar and Abdullah bin Umar gets it from Muhammad, peace be upon him. So not only are we making these empty claims, we are backing it up. Yeah, we're telling you this is the chain. We're telling you who compiled it. We're telling you where it was compiled and we're showing you the books. Yeah, I have a book at home that was written after the generation of the companions called Kitab al -Athar. That's the first book that was written after the generation of the companions. Yeah, behind you, you have Adnan, Adnan Rashid. I'm trying to get a coin from him. 
Yeah, he's actually reserved this from him. He has oh, a point. Sorry? So he showed him on his YouTube channel. Exactly. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm just going yeah. to so, He's got a coin. Yeah. Now this coin dates all the way to the Prophet, peace yeah. be upon him. It's been minted. It's got the Shahada on it. The Shahada is our declaration of faith. Yeah. That there's none worthy worship besides Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of yeah. God. Yeah, it's got the Hijra on it. Hijra is when the Prophet migrated from Makkah to Medina. So all these things can be attested to evidentially like physically i would have actually bought that coin i've got a coin he hasn't given me the gold one the one that i've got is i think about 150 years um, 140 years after the prophet i'm trying to get the one that's actually from his time all right, that, that's do a, you that's see it yeah? that's, a, that's a good chain all right so for so just for that for, so for that remember Remembrance based on the old, the old Torah, the old, Test the old Testament, right? I show you today, right now, in Westminster Abbey, they have um, a book of remembrance that they every day, each time of the of the day, they recite the remembrance. And in this Abbey, you could go there now, see, in the real life, there are family members that are addressed within this abbey and the person that created this abbey so they're giving a chain of not just again the book but the actual found people that are embedded in remembering and i'm saying the old testament their lineage their people um, can you give me one so even myself my last name is webb you could go into the westminster abbey right now you could find that webb you could find there i'll show you no, no, Lawrence, can you standing here yeah, I'm sure you give look. me a chain? Look, I'm telling you, look, yeah. This is my crescent. So this is based on this is coming from a royal royal standpoint. Because there is a there is the because the Westminster, the Parliament of Westminster is the palace of Westminster. And it was created by King Edward. And King Edward is also called Prince Edward because he's a black prince and he ruled in the kingdom of um, Granada. And if you know about the kingdom of Granada, it was based on, again, the Islamic Empire, right? So, this, these are kings that have traveled, you know, preserving the faith with the people that, because they were traveling on sea. So if you go back to all of the kings, they have been practicing and passing on these, 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 these lineages, remembering to their children, children, and the families that are separated. That's why, you know, I could even, you know, pick up my inheritance and follow the chain lineage because the last name Webb mean, meaning the weaver. It goes back into the most ancient time in um, Egypt where it shows the Nephi, the goddess of weaving. Okay. And she's also the goddess of the of war. So Very good. This is, this is a chain of narrating that I can do myself. I'm, I'm glad you've told me. Yeah, because it's very interesting. You didn't yeah. just take it. Yeah, yeah. But just to come back on the point, yeah. can you tell me standing here the chain yourself? The chain? Yeah. Right. So okay. we start with Webb, yeah. which is yourself. Yeah. Lancelot Webb. It's a wonderful name, by the way. So Lancelot Webb, heard or read from who? I read from, I could say, the king. So it's, a, it's King Edward. Right now, it's a book of remembrance. Okay. So I said, the book of remembrance. Yes. It's in King the Edward. It's in the Abbey. Okay, yeah. so King Edward got it from? Um, house of David. That's a house person. David, David, David. David. Yeah, da Dawood, yeah, David. He got it. David. He yeah. got it from Dawood? Yeah. Are you sure yeah, you want to sure. make that claim? I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dawood got it from? Again, that's what, that's in the that's part of the children of Israel, so he must have got it from the rest of the, we, as you know, it's in your book, so it must be going from the, the rest of them. So Jacob, and then he keep going back. Okay, interesting. Now, Lancelot, I'm going to take this one step forward. Yeah, true. I'm going to take it one step I forward. Will, I will. Yeah? yeah? Come with me, join me on this journey. Yeah. Because what I'm now going to say is, because we have lineage that's present today. I wasn't talking about lineage. I wasn't talking about genealogy. I'm talking about a chain of narration. Yeah, and in the chain of narration, we know the name. We know how good their memory is. We know their tribe. We know their father's name. We know where they traveled. 
we know who they sat with and we know how long they sat with. Now can you provide me something similar to that in your tradition? Well, no, I, I, would, I, would, I would have to obviously go in more detail, but I'm not in that, that terminology. There is, there, there is timeline where I could provide you obviously on a, on a different platform where we sit down and actually break it down. Yeah, hey, of course. Yeah. But Lancelot, you see there's four cameras here, yeah? yeah, yeah. I can make a bold face claim here, yeah? Knowing that this is gonna go online and I can be refuted. Yeah, yeah, of course. I can make this claim that Christianity does not have anything that matches that. Mm -hmm. I can say that right now. Okay. It doesn't have anything that even comes close to that, yeah? We have, I can name you books, Imam Zahabi's, Siyar and Nubala, which actually goes through narrators, Imam Bukhari, he sat, he actually tells us where he sat, the grave of the Prophet to where he would deliver khutbah. He sat between those two, which we believe is a place from paradise. He sat there and he would compile. He, that's where he wrote and that's his why compilation I of, I in the Quran, of narrators. I mentioned in the Quran itself, itself yeah, that book that we, mostly you say a lot of people have um, recited, right? There is, there is, Taurus that specifically has that the family of that said is that said tradition. For remember where where it is there, there, there has to be an order of narration, like you say, a chain. So to, for 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 that for that chain to come all the way to the prophet, it he has to have some you know dignitary to get to gain this type of, of understanding. So within the when you book, say dignitary, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, like um, something that honor, you know, like people. How that, do you measure the honor? So based on the work. So based on his public duties. So if he's a military, if he, you know, what I'm saying the clergy. Okay. He, these so are you're people saying that judge them based upon the occupation. Yeah, yeah, because I'm sure the prophet was a military. Yeah, he had a military stance. Well, the prophet was also a yeah, yeah a so general as say, well. So yeah. It's not just. You know, but our, we don't judge the chains by occupation. Right, like Abu Huraira didn't have an occupation. It's, it's the reason because there is more than just a general, like more than just a a pedestrian witness. There is general witnesses that is within a, a greater chain. You understand? It, it's real. It's a part of the system that we're in, a valued system, and it continues to this day because there is a structure. So. In there, like I say, the book compiled, and that book is showing you that okay, there are diff different sources that is telling you about these dignitary people. Because for for them to be written in there, they have, they have to have some form of upstanding, they have some form of you know credibility. So in Thora three, which is again the children of Imran, like if this is being memorized properly, and if you would understand what Imran is and it will show that that Old Testament has not changed because Imran is coming from that Old Testament and, it, and it, it's written specifically as its own 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 space to express himself and those that may not fully understand Islam to realize okay there is a mem there's a memorial being placed within a verse so okay I could understand where it's coming from okay so just so I've understood you correctly, you're saying that it's the Quran has copied from the Old Testament. Is that what you're saying in a roundabout sort it's a, of way? It, it, it's a confirmation. It's that's a confirmation. A confirmation. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Right? But yeah, we, we don't deny that. I know. Yeah, yeah, we don't deny that. So, okay, so that, that point is fine. But coming back to our original point, which is do you have anything that matches the scrutinization of the people in the chain that Islam has? Because it's all well and good having a chain, but having a science that scrutinizes those narrators, because we have grades of hadith. Yeah. We have a hadith which is sahih, yeah? Then there's different levels of sahih as well, yeah? There's different types of chains as well. I get what you said. Yeah. So, so see, do, you, do you have that in? So it's, it's based on the kings. So just like I say, if you could go, this is, a, this is one of the greatest establishment because even in the Quran it says, you have to obey the authorities, right? And the king, kings, you know, have, have the upstanding authority. That's why even the queen, to this day, she have uh, one of her titles are supreme governor. 
So she keeps that, that memorial and that chain of memorials are all around, you know, within the, all the facilities. You know, Don't you the, think even that's the law of the land itself? Yeah is part of that interesting interesting for us to grade something according to one opinion for us to grade something as mutawatir there needs to be 10 different chains yeah that confirm one particular thing in fact i've got a book at home which is just compiling mutawatir narrations mutawatir narrations mean something which is beyond any doubt there's so many companions that have narrated that particular hadith it's simply absurd to deny it yeah so when you're saying that it goes through a monarch yeah that's one narration. But That's it's, risky. It's one, it's one, but it's the supreme one because it's governing the whole entire population. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it keeps the oldest, oldest chain of narration. It, keep, it keeps it in a form where you can see the behavior, you can see the attributes, you can see the customs, you can see the. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's written everything. down or memorized? Written down. Written down and, and a part of the, the customs of certain... Do you think the writing can be changed by mistake? Of course, because there's editions, there's, there's new editions, just like so you're there's saying editions of the Quran in different, you know what I'm saying, there's, in different countries, there's an edition, there's all editions no, everywhere. No? There's, there's only one. I know there's only one, yeah. as in you would know there's only one, yeah. but there is edition. There is a... So, if you, you could, there is addition, of course there's What do you mean by maybe we're addition, speaking just, past Just like uh, people that say, okay, let me translate it in... Um, where, where, so yeah, that's have, a translation have, then, not addition. Of course, yeah, the, that's an that's a addition of a translation. Okay, so if you're taking that definition, no problem. Is, yeah, no problem. Am I sure? Just that's to fine. say, just to say, okay, um, you have, it's the same clothes, but there's a title, there's a name going to be on it. So it could be a second edition of the same clothes. But because they, have a, they, they, they created a different patterns and things like that, it, it, it's morally, it's an added, you know, added information. So, so, that, so the, those that from far away could better translate what the original is saying. Right? So if you're taking translation to mean addition, but that's fine, no problem. I don't have an issue. Yeah? yeah? No problem. But, so, so what was the point that we were... Okay, so th here was my point. You said that the books can be changed. But my thing is exactly this, uh, Lancelot. The books can be changed. Yeah, that's true. We said it. But my original point that I was speaking to Victor about was Islam doesn't rely on books. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. It doesn't. I agree. And because of that, that's what makes Islam absolutely, completely, totally unique. Because of the chain of narration, the knowledge that we have of the people in the chains, our ability to critique those people and have a science in itself to preserve our tradition. No other religion can make this claim. That was my point originally. And that's where you came and you said, look, I, I have a dispute with regards to that. Just, just even like they said, no, I have a religion. That's why there is, there is um, the attributes of the remembrance. So obviously, it's like the compilers of that remembrance. There is, at the standards of it, the highest standard is that it does not change because you're, you're still seeing kings and queens to this day that I preserve the, the same. No, but it relies on the book. Yeah. The king remember, got remember, it. Remember I'm saying, you said without no reading, yeah? Yeah, memorization. Memorization, yeah. yeah? So there is cultures, you know, roots of people without memorizing because, as I say, Abraham didn't have no memory of, of what is written. He just behaved in, the, in his way, right? Um, and I the rest don't of know them, about that. <laughs> Abraham had a book, right? You say yeah, it? but Ab Ab Abraham yeah, had a they had the book that where Abraham. Yeah, they had. Prophet. Yeah, Abraham. Yeah. Where, where's the book that um, Adam had? Where's the book that? Go keep going. Keep going. Yeah, on the Ad Adam had where's something called uh, Sahifas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were like booklets. Yeah. As Muslims, we don't claim that they've been preserved. Mm -hmm. The whole reason for another book to come afterwards is because the previous book has been changed. Either there's been interpolations, things added in, or taken out. Listen, so, remember from the point you're saying, you're saying that without the book, it can still continue, right? So if, if, if you're not sure that Adam had a book, uh, but if you might be sure, but you're saying, in this day, we're not sure, yeah? If you're saying that Abraham had a book, but that in this day, I think I get your sure. point. You know I think say? I get your yeah. point. And yeah, how do we know that Abraham had a book? How do yeah. we know Adam had a book? Okay, so when because we... we I just, just to, yeah. we know 
from the Torah, it, it's being described that God has given a book. So yeah. from That's that, what we from that yeah. point, there was a no giving of a book. You understand? So it's showing you the, the ultimate authority giving a book. Yeah. You understand? And after before that, there were no you know um, discovery of any type of form in that way. So they, they it, so the, the life, the style, and the life and the, and the attribute and the tradition that they carried was you could say without as you could say you could say it's Islam then yeah because you're, you're, you're claiming that it can be done without a book so that lifestyle is a, is a great reference to saying Islam then because I think, I what, think you're what you're saying, saying is a very good point yeah and that's what again makes Islam unique because no other prophet no other book was given the assurance that their book would remain preserved mm -hmm. Islam is the sorry the Quran is the only book that God has given assurance that it will be preserved. Why? Because it's the last book. And the prophet is the last messenger. Yeah, and there is no prophet or book to come after. Because of that, preservation is incredibly important. That's why I keep stressing upon this fact that Islam is unique in this, because Islam has to be unique in this. Christianity doesn't have to be unique in this, because after Jesus, uh, peace be upon him, came Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Yeah, but after Muhammad, there is nobody else. But coming back to the monarchs, if you're saying they are very important in preserving Christian tradition, then it's very it's integral for them to memorize what they make. And you just see, and, I, and I, that's a good point. You see, so every one of these titles are deriving from a particular behavior from a person or a group of persons. Remember this. So every one of these titles, so you say Christianity, it's Islam. the Book of Remembrance, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And so the Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, it's based on the characteristics and the attributes and the behavior of an individual. So remember this. So this is where, this is where now, okay, if you, if it's not, yeah, if you're... This is your belief, by the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. because it's, it's my inheritance. Yeah. So if this behavior now, just like, you know, having passed and down through, you know, understanding information, then what is the thing that could be added onto your own natural stance is then now compiled in a way where you have to go through that understanding based on the reading. But, you know, there is that behavior is just a thing that is just taking place. That's why you can still find these monarchs, these clergy, you know, certain standards in society that they have authority some think, people talk yeah. about the authority but they're not they haven't become the authority that's a different from a, a, a scholar or someone that just had a mindset than someone that's actually you know applying the authority saying okay you're not doing this you know let me take you and charge you with an offense that's that's two different things so we have to now move from the the scholarly mentality to the to the to the attributes and the behavior which is becoming because again the prophet he had the attribute he had the the behavior to become who he is that's why you know we're trying to follow the this upstandingness of the different prophets because it's a behavioral thing you know it's not just it's not just a, a word thing